congratulations on your win. Thank you. Thank you so much. Congrats, guys. Dove, you guys are keeping your playoffs play hope. It's now 16.94%. How are you feeling, Dove? First off, we thought this was a must-win match to make it to the playoffs, but we have Taman Kia series coming up. Now that we won Nongshim, I think it's going to be feel even worse if we fall to Taman Kia, so I don't want to get too ahead, too ahead, but still I'm glad or I'm feeling relieved that we were able to pick up a win tonight. What about you, Toran? I play off we still have a chance to make it to the playoffs and it feels great very nice to pick up a win tonight. Yeah. We saw your face after losing that game on Cyan and now we saw pure joy on your face after having a serious win. And KT Roaster finally stopped your six match long losing streak. Congratulations on that as well, Toran. What kind of process have you guys gone through during the losing streak? And what was the um, what changed in order for you guys to pick up a win tonight? Well, what did we discuss? I mean, I mean, we are, we just said we are very bad right now. We are not performing right now, so we have to, you know, get back to this game and we have to clean up our issues. I mean, that was also pretty if, if important for today's match, but I, yeah, I mean. <laughs> and Dove, how are you feeling? You guys are able to finally get uh, get out of the losing streak. Yeah, we finally made it, and I hope we can. This could be our stepping sto stone for us to make a lot of improvements. However, you guys are bold enough to pick Yone after hovering victory in game number two. We weren't trying to play some AP champion, a control mage on the mid lane, but I was trying to make up a mind between mage champion and Yone, and my head coach just told me leave no regrets, so I just locked in Yone. And after that game, he did was, was like, what was that troll pick? <laughs> but because so because of the comment, I don't think I can perform good on um, Yone. <laughs> yeah, Gorilla, as a former teammate, I was expecting you to play some mage champion, but in the Gen.G series, you played Lucian, and today it was Yone. So what's the main reason of those new new things that you guys are trying. I'm pretty much confident in Yone. And the biggest reason is our losing streak. So we just didn't want to take the go to comps. We wanted to make some change. And at the end of the moment, Hirai just told me, leave no regret tonight. So I just locked in Yone. And Doran, in game number three, we had a very similar comp, just like game number one, a comp that you guys actually lost, which means KT Roaster must have been playing under a bit of a pressure. So what was the mindset that you guys brought in game number three? Well, I think we were falling apart starting from the laning phase, so we wanted to, you know, play our lane better. We're really curious about it because KT Roaster didn't contest for Elder and Baron. You could have taken some fights over there, but you were actually considering it over to Nongshin Red Force. What was the plan in that macro? Elder uh, in the last game about not contesting for Elder? Because Kragas, you know, he just died out of nowhere. So we, we had to change our plans.
We had to adjust <laughs> our <laughs> plan, but because of him, we couldn't take the elder. I guess it was too risky to take the fight, right? It was way too risky. I don't really remember correctly, but I think, yeah, that was mainly why. And, however, Dora, your cast in the end was there to just end the game. Senna even ulted to stop the reset, and then you just rushed in and flash body slammed onto the carries on the opponent. So, what kind of call and communication went back and forth? We actually didn't have enough heads up. Uh, about the Baron play coming out from Dongshin, so we were a little bit late to the party. So we saw them recalling, so we were like, just stop the recall, just stop the reset. So Senna ulted first, and all five of them was were there. So we were trying to chase them. <laughs> I guess, yeah, KT Roaster was in a rush, and they were able to pull off the best play. And Gideon was able to put up a great performance tonight as well. So, Dove, any message over to your teammate Gideon? <laughs> well, in game two, after like everything, I thought Gideon would pick POG. <laughs> no way. <laughs> I mean, before the interview, I was like, I, I told Horan, I, I, I was like, I think Gideon deserves POG for game two. I did say that. I mean, he did, but. But Horan said he just got super lucky in game two, so you were able to get the POG. <laughs> but I do agree, I think I got super lucky. I think I was able to survive most of the um, risky moments. And Doran, what do you think about Noah? He's been having a great performance oh, joining wow. KT Roaster. I think he's doing great. Yes, I think he's doing great for us. He's not dying. You know. <laughs> That's the be best compliment for an ADK player. Not dying and playing well. Now, KT Roaster, you guys are continuing your run for the playoffs, and you guys have to take down Tamon Kia. So, how are you guys going to prepare for that match? It's do or die. If we lose that series, we'll die. If we win that series, we'll leave. Doran, would you like to add on to that? We will play well, you know, as a, as a team together. We will try to cheer up in order to make it to the playoffs. Once again, congratulations on your win, and thank you very much for this interview. And I'm going to pass it back to our casters. Thank you.